So the property was, was rather um, extensively built. I mean, you look at this range and it, it certainly exceeds that which you find in the average home. You know, you look at all of the appliances uh, and it's, it's, it's rather extensive on what was actually put into this property. Uh, you know, you, you walk into the living room here and you know, all of, the, all of the contents, the personal property contents that you see in the house today, we have seized those con uh, contents, we have seized those personal property items and we, we will soon be uh, selling them off by auction. Uh, this, this fireplace is a walkthrough, so it goes through between the uh, master bedroom and the dining room here. But as you can see, lots of bookshelves. These at one time were lined with all of her awards from the horse shows. A lot of belt buckles, uh, trophies. You know, we can walk in here to the master bedroom and, you know, the, the grandeur of this room uh, is something to see. You know, it has a small seating area with the gas fireplace. Again, shelves that lined her awards, no longer here. But when you walk into this bedroom and you see the, the, the grandeur of it, you know, she's got the, the staircase that takes you up to an office, um, you know, the king size bed, a lot of square footage in this bedroom that, you know, I imagine many, many homes in this community uh, perhaps have, have this much square footage, perhaps that make up their kitchen, dining room, living room, and very few bedrooms that are probably this size. Uh, but you know, as you walk through, again, you see unique pieces of furniture. Walk into the master bedroom. You know, it has its own whirlpool bathtub. Um, shower is very unique in that it's all a glass block. If you look in the base of the shower, you know, she, very unique. She had horseshoes built into the to the flooring of the shower. Uh, Walk-in closet, of course, that walks through to the other side of the bedroom at the bottom of the staircase. Back out to the bedroom, and we can go upstairs and look at the 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 office. But you know, again, our challenge, the challenge of the U.S. Marshal Service, is going to be how best to market and sell this property. Um, identifying a buyer in this community, uh, or perhaps a surrounding community who's interested in in paying. Uh, fair market value for this product and it, it was rather nicely built. Um, you know, you should look up in the ceiling, it, it had its own speaker system, you know, a, a couple of the dual fans. But, you know, you walk up to the, to the office area, of course, you know, it has its own seating area where, you know, lots of individual pieces of furniture exist. Again, all of this will be taken out of the property and will be sold at a local community auction. Um, Unfortunately, I don't know what she paid for these individual pieces. I imagine it was right at retail price because it's a one of a kind, very, very expensive. And our challenge will be trying to um, obtain at or near that value, which, which will be difficult. Um, unless you're really into a Western theme in your home furnishings, um, some of this stuff is not gonna be something that would necessarily sell um, in this local community, although we will look at opportunities to uh, also advertise these products online. You know, the purpose in all of this staying here right now until the days before the auction is we're not paying storage. So my experience is when you, when you hire a moving company to come in and, and box all this stuff up, pack it all up, put padding on it, uh, put it in a trailer, haul it to a storage location, pay a monthly fee to store it, all that's adding up. And what's happening on the back end is there's less money for the victim of the alleged crime. So, you know, my intent would be to hold the auction here in Dixon for that reason. And then again, I don't know, you know, who will come to the auction, but we will widely advertise it. And, you know, we will post some of the photographs up online. Perhaps you can assist us with your newspaper uh, by telling this story. And people from the area can, uh, and beyond, can see what's available and um, come to the auction to, to bid on potential items. So, you know, it was not unusual for us to have people driving three to four hours to come to the horse auction. Uh, perhaps it would not be equally unusual to have that distance uh, being driven by in, in, interested people for, for the personal property as well.